14th Army men go forward on the last stage of the drive which won back Mandalay. 42 actions in six weeks is the battle record of these tank and infantrymen. With Mandalay just round the corner, the Japs are being burned and bayoneted out of the way. Current opinion is that the fall of Mandalay spells finish for the Japs in Burma. Somebody's country seat in the east goes west. obstinate tree is flattened out, but not before it got a half Nelson on the tank. Among the victory souvenirs is a captured Japanese flag. There are other enemies to be fought, silent and deadly as the Japanese. Refugees, the universal trademark of wars the world over, stream back from the battle zone. Burma front, jeeps may come and jeeps may go, but the mule goes on forever. British and Indian infantry head for Mandalay and beyond. War swirls angrily round the mellow beauty of old shrines and palaces, then passes on and leaves them serene again. Burma entertains the troops. Dancing girls in national costume put on a pui, the Burmese equivalent of an answer show. They're welcome to British and Indian liberators. There's a meaning somewhere behind this weird and wonderful dance routine. Make your own guess what it is. It goes down well anyway and the soccer-playing Allied soldier gets an eye-opener on dexterous footwork when the Burmese play Chon Lin. Then there's an exhibition of Burmese boxing, a bare-fisted slap, kick and scratch affair with no holes barred and no rules. The first to draw blood is the winner. Time off for a quick drink and here we go again. The hefty Burmese champion challenged all comers until an Indian havildar took him on and gave the crowd its money's worth and the champ a beating. A bit of well-earned light relief before the last push that took Mandalay.